Hello, hello! What's up, guys? It's me, Spy Puchella, and welcome back to another episode of Spy Puchella's podcast. I know, we need a better name, but for now, we're dealing with it. So, last episode was based on Peckham and how it's not as dangerous as you'd think it is, or as dangerous as the media would portray it as. Today, well, I've gone on Instagram and I posted a story on Instagram asking you guys who follow me on Instagram if you would like me to talk about anything in particular. Now, bear in mind, I'm recording this on a Monday, the episode goes up on Sunday. Uh, two of my mates, who follow me on Instagram, actually one of them lives in the States, the other one goes to the same college as me, is in the same class as me. Both of you have suggested something, and I don't see why I don't talk about it. It's all got to do with my life, actually, and I've done two episodes already in on this podcast, and you don't know much about me, do you? I'm not sure if I went deep into my life. My life? I can't talk today. If I went deep into my life on episode one, which is the debut. But I could specifically talk about my experiences in college. That's one thing. The other one's to do with celebrations. And... You know what, I'll get the harder bit out of the way first, the thing that feels a bit more complex. So, we're talking about college, and then we'll talk about celebrations, because I'm Muslim, you know, so I don't celebrate Christmas and all this stuff. So I could just say I celebrate Ramadan, but I'll actually make, I'll actually record a, an an in-depth episode on that. But for now, we talk about college. But before we do, make sure you give this podcast a follow and also follow my Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff to basically get more from behind the scenes and suggest any new ideas for me. And also got a YouTube channel, or two YouTube channels actually, and TikTok. All the promo aside, let's get into it. Now, personally, since I've got 11 minutes left, I would start from the beginning. So, I will mention the name of this college because, I mean, why not? Shooter's Hill College. It's in Greenwich. Don't come stalking me, though. Or anybody else, for that matter. Now, I'm a third-year BTEC media student. BTEC Level 3, Year 1. For those of you who don't live in the UK, it's basically, you know, you do GCSE, A-levels, all that stuff. BTEC is, is basically the more practical version of GCSEs and A-levels put together, and pre-GCSEs as well. So there's level one, which is, which is pre-GCSE, or pre-O-levels, for you that over in North America. Uh, level two BTEC would be... GCSE level, and then level 3 BTEC would be A level, and whilst the other two levels like last for like one year, because their equivalent are one year, A levels is two years, and so BTEC level 3 will also be two years, so, so it will be level 3 year 1 and level 3 year 2. I'm currently level 3 year 1. I'm studying media. I've probably said that a minute ago. But anyways, I started going to this college, Shooter Sill, on September 2018. Bear in mind, I was a special needs kid. I have, I was born with autism, and I have a few special needs disorders, none of which I can actually tell you about because I'm not so clear on what they actually are to be specific. 
but I know about my autism. Not that it would have stopped me from performing well in mainstream secondary schools, but I'm glad that I went to a special needs school so that I knew how to behave around people. Might sound a bit over the top there, but you know, I feel you can deal with people better when you got special needs. You learn how to deal with a neurotypical world and you come out there, you go to mainstream education or whatever and you can if not if you can't one hundred percent deal with it, you can at least cope with it. if you can't cope with it, at least deal with it without losing your shit. But anyways I enrolled for Shooter Seal and I Start going in September 2018. Also bear in mind. That's another bear in mind. Um, yeah. I used to be a science student. I started going to college. For science. Because. That was the subject. I was interested in at the time. At that point. My two YouTube channels. And my TikTok. Okay not even my TikTok but. The main YouTube channel, my vlogging channel, had been going strong for about two years at that point. And I chose science because I wanted to see if I still wanted a career out of it. Because basically I was a, a geeky guy in from year 7 onwards. And science was one of my favourite things. Physics to be specific. And I thought I wanted to be a, a physicist. But then come year 9, everything changed, because I became a bit more creative and loved my creativity more. Put science in the back burner. Put science on the back burner. Sorry. And focused on creative stuff. And I didn't really think much about what I wanted to do as a career. Up until I started going to college. And I was doing science when we had to do one of these units. Now, basically, we had four units which aren't science-based, and the rest of them are science-based. So I think we had 12 units in total, or 14. Four of those are not science-based. And one of those four is, is, you know, what do you want your career to be? I don't remember what, what, what that specific unit was called, but yeah. I was a B-Tech level 1 science kid, so I didn't do GCSE science. I didn't even do GCSEs in my secondary school at all, but we won't talk about that because I ain't got much time. Uh, so, um, that unit was basically what we want to do in the future. I went deep into that, realised that I didn't actually want to pursue a career in science. And so, I've fought long on this. It only took me a few days, actually. But... I settled on media. Because that was the other thing. The only other thing that I could see myself having a career in. Because my main interest is science, media, art, history, writing. Now, technically you can count writing as media, so I'll just... I'll just throw that in, me in, in there. So writing is part of media. Now... Science, I realised I didn't want to pursue as a career, so no point in continuing studying that. I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a good artist, and I ain't got time to do much with art, so that's out of the window too. Uh, history. It's between media and history, but history isn't really something like I see myself doing long term in the future. I'm interested in it. I'm very, very interested in it, actually. I love history to bits and pieces. But, professionally, I don't see myself as a historian. If anything, I see myself more of a media kind of guy. Say, film, TV, an author, you name it. Or at least YouTube. Not even YouTube, actually. I'm not really that... You check my YouTube channel, it's not that good. But anyways, back to topic. So I decided during my spring term, which was like 
it's just like um January to March 2019 that I was going to do media. So and so I re-enrolled for media whilst I was in science. I got my results for science, which is like a whole lot of distinctions. I'd love to talk about the grading system for BTEC, but I ain't got much time. So I did that and I was able to start my media lessons. No, I was able to start my VTEC Level 2 media course that, that September. I just realized that I've only got five minutes left. Yeah, um, it's not going. I haven't even touched upon my social life and all that stuff whilst I was in college. Just know that in September 2019, I started BTEC Level 2 Media. New experience for me since most of my friends were in science. Made new friends as a result. Um, had to get used to studying a new subject. I didn't do so hot grade-wise. Because in science, I was a natural. I got most distinctions, which basically... Which is basically the A's, the n not even nines, which is basically the A's and the sevenths, sevens of BTEC. You know how you you know how you got the numbered system replacing the letter system for GCSEs. It's basically that. It's basically a seven or an eight is a distinction for BTEC. So I did well in science, very very well in science. Got a whole lot of distinctions, probably one or two merits and one pass. With level two media, however, it all turned around. Not for the better, but hey ho, I'm still here. Level three media year one, so I did something right. Well, that and Corona happened. But maybe if it weren't for Corona and it, there's a bit of a silver lining. Not saying that it's a good thing, but it's a bit of a silver lining there. If it went for Corona, forcing teachers to look at our portfolios and um, marking our grades according to that. I've forgotten what the terms were. I, I'm so dumb. I'm sorry. But basically, it wasn't just our exams that that determined our place. It was also teachers going through our portfolios, seeing which things are good, which things aren't good. But yeah, that's how I managed to get from level 2 media to level 3, year 1 media. If it went for that, I probably would have either stayed in level 2 this year, or I probably would have been kicked out, or something like that. I don't even know. I'm about to turn 19 next month, so it, it probably would have been less likely I've been kicked out, but still, you never know. That's where I am now, academically speaking. Still not doing as hot as I did in science, but I'm doing better now than I was in level 2 because at least I knew the subjects and stuff. Most of the things I already knew from last year. So I was able to take that with me and I am able to get around that. Except with level 2 is a bit more pra level 3 is a bit more practical. Now that we're back in college and no longer in lockdown, we're, we're able to actually, you know, yeah. I just realised that I've only got a minute left. I ain't got much time to talk. This is gonna be a part one, actually. You know what? I'll do a part two to this. So, um, if you guys liked this episode, make sure you let me know on Instagram. Also, give this podcast a follow whilst you still can, so that you get more episodes from me every single week, every single Sunday. I'm going to do a part two to this. Literally when I'm done recording this. In three, two, one, goodbye.